I'm Joni Marks, and I'd like to welcome you to the third video for Finding True Love After 60, the three-part series for 60 and Me readers. So Lucille Ball famously said, love yourself first and everything else falls into place. But if you were taught that self-love is narcissistic and self-care is selfish, you probably also learn to be a people pleaser and feel that caring for yourself is an unnecessary luxury. And now you have your own inner critic, often sitting on your shoulder, who repeats to you the same wrong, inadequate, and, and negative messages while you are doing just mundane, everyday things like brushing your teeth, putting your makeup on, driving the car, you know, and making dinner. So these inaccurate, mean, and ugly messages, they are meant to stop you from doing what you want, to stop you from really living your heart's desire and making your life the best it can be. So as you listen, to your inner critic, you really listen to yourself, you're going to be shocked at what you say to yourself. I am sure that you would not let other people talk to you the way you are talking to yourself. So as you become aware of this, I'd like to now share five tips to stop that destructive self-talk. The five processes to reframe your perception of self-love are, number one, undo the belief that self-love is selfish. Challenge what you say to yourself. Number two, engage regularly in positive inner dialogue so that you learn to discern the difference between your inner critic and the voice of your true authentic self. Number three, consciously and actively observe your thoughts and patterns and interrupt this negative self-talk and the unhealthy behaviors surrounding self-love. Number four, embrace your uniqueness and honor who you are. And number five, celebrate your age every day. And I might add, write your progress in your journal. As you pay more attention to what it is you say to yourself, challenge those negative messages from your inner critic. They're hurtful, and you need to get them out of your mind. And I'd like to present now two slides to help us do that. Please create some time for the following. When you hear the negative voice of your inner critic, say to yourself silently or out loud the following. No, that is not true. So you turn the negative self-talk into its positive opposite by saying, I am loved enough to be, I am smart enough to do, I am good enough to have, or I will succeed because. And here are the journal prompts to help solidify this. Create some time to write out the following. Journal 22 or more. And there's a lot more than 22 things you love about yourself. Once you have that list, observe which of these areas you love that have been shamed by you or others in the past. And please journal self-love practices that in the past you refrain from doing, but you are now open and willing to engage in. 
I'd now like to show you one more slide because the purpose of these journal prompts and action items is to integrate what it is you're learning. That's the action part. And the journal part really helps you to integrate it so that what you are, you are writing is going from your mind to your hand to what you're writing it on either on a, in a journal or on a tablet or a computer or your iPhone. And why this is so important is it doesn't give your inner critic a chance to interrupt and negate your new thoughts and your new wishes and the new behaviors you're trying. So please let us look at the last slide. Starting today. Engage in at least one self-love practice daily for the next 22 days. Connect these practices to the 22 things you love about yourself that you identified in your journal prompt. Be sure to observe and journal how you feel over the coming days and weeks. Paying close attention to positive inner and outer changes as you engage in this 22-day inspired action item. Thank you so much for watching the three videos that are attached to Finding True Love After 60 for the 60 and Me community. And I especially want to thank Margaret and Vanya for suggesting that I do these three videos to support the three articles. And if you would like to know more about Finding True Love, please look at my online course, Finding True Love on udemy.com. You can type in my name, Joni Marks, or Finding True Love. And to finish up, I would like to suggest every morning you look into your mirror, smile at yourself and say, I am my own best friend. For I came into this world to be myself. For that, I came. Again, thank you and all the best.